A manufacturing order comprises various operations to get a perfectly finished product. In auto manufacturing module, you can specify all these operations as work orders while configuring manufacturing order. A work order dependencies will determine the order to perform the configured work orders and if the manufacturing of a product contains various elements, you can create a list of components required to get a finished product using the bluff material. Activating the work order dependencies will set order to perform work order to manufacture and combine the elements of the bill of material. So you can just get into the manufacturing module in order to activate the work order dependencies from the miscellaneous tab of bill of materials. So let's dive into the manufacturing module and under configuration settings, you can just enable the work order that will process the operations at a specific work order. And this ensures that we can also make use of the work order dependencies which means that set the work orders that set the work should be processed and this activate the feature with each BOM's miscellaneous operations. Now you can also enable the work order dependencies. Um, so as you enable that you would be able to see the work order dependencies under the miscellaneous tab. So let's create a product uh, that is, uh, yeah, we are going to manufacture a product which is table. So you can just go to the uh, bill of material under the product tab and let's create a new bill of material. So let me choose a BOM as table and you can set the uh, reference over here. So let me set the reference as WD which is work order dependency and you can set the component over here and I'm going to manufacture the component, I mean the table. So the components are uh, table, leg and you know, table, top. So I need four quantity of table, uh, leg and after that let me also enable, uh, yeah, under the miscellaneous tab, you can also enable the operation dependencies. So operation dependencies will set you to uh, process the operations that you want, which means that will set an order in the manufacturing process. So under the operation, you can also set the operation. So let me create an operation over here. So I need to cut the legs as well as I need to assemble the tables after cutting the leg. So let me cut the legs. And you can just save and close this and let me also create another um, operation which is to assemble the table. So the product will be assembled from this work center and you can just save and close this and let me also uh, activate a field called block by. So here I'm going to activate this and I will be blocking this uh, by a specific work center which is uh, the cutting center. Okay, here work order dependencies allow you to block a certain operations and we can perform the operation in a certain order. So first uh, we need to perform the operation that is quick legs and until that uh, we need to block the operation that is assemble. Uh, the table. So you can also block this from the configuration uh, menu. Uh, from there you can choose operations and uh, let me choose assemble the table uh, that is the operation and here we have a field called block by and you can choose the operation. So once uh, the cut, cut the leg operation is uh, completed then only we can perform the assemble uh, table operation. So let me uh, save this. Now we can create a manufacturing order. So when you just go to the BOM under operations, you would be able to see that uh, it's blocked by uh, the operation. Uh, I mean, uh, assemble the table as blocked by the operation cut the leg. So first cut the leg operations will be performing. So in order to perform a manufacturing uh, order, you can just go to the operation uh, tab and choose the uh, manufacturing order. So let me click on new in order to create a new manufacturing order. And here you can choose the bill of material and uh, 
now uh, under work orders you would be able to see all the work orders and all and let me save this order and confirm so once you confirm the order we can see that uh, we need to start uh, the operation that is cut the legs and once this uh, is finished then only we can start with the other operation so here as we have said work order dependencies this the status will be shown as waiting for another work order now let me start with the cut the legs and once the operation is done you can just click on done and you can just start the other process so as we have finished uh, the operation cut the legs you can see that this second operation is currently ready now we we can start that and once that operation is done you can just click on done and you can just click it as mark as done and finally we have performed the operation based on work order dependencies and it shows the product movement and you can see that finally we have manufactured the product table and you can also get the cost analysis from here and it shows the unit cost quantity that used and the total cost everything is shown here so if you want to print this cost analysis report you can print that so this is how we manage with the work order dependencies in order 16 manufacturing module hope this concept were worth for you and as always thank you for watching the video and stay awesome